Oh, hey there, y'all. I am posting, actually reposting, a video that I had put up two or three days ago. And the reason why I'm reposting it is because I had to take it down. I received last night an email from YouTube uh, giving me a seven-day grace period or a warning for a copyright takedown issued by Alexander Pagani Ministries. And uh, this is the second one I've received in about a year and a half, two years, the second video that this has happened. But I went ahead and took the correction and took it down. Um, however, I am going to put it back up. And there's going to be some heavy edits to it and it's going to be shortened. And uh, I think it's important because what I normally do with these types of reels that I share with you guys and I ask questions and I provide commentary and critique as fair use. What I do is I want to present questions to get you thinking biblically. In particular, about the movement, about the New Apostolic Reformation. This particular reel uh, piqued my interest because it, it classically displayed sp territorial spiritual warfare. This is practiced and taught in the New Apostolic Reformation. Show enough. It is. And so, I wanted to address that. Now, it's going to be put back up. And I, I appreciate the grace period. And I appreciate... Um, allowing me to have time to think about what I was going to do with that. And so I thought about it, and uh, I'm going to put it back out. Uh, because I think it's important to talk about it and to have these uh, conversations and draw attention to it. And should Alexander Pagani see this video? Um, I have a couple questions. I'm a question asker. So the first one is, I would like to know, if he, if he sees this video, um, if you want to comment in the comments below and um, people are going to be very gracious towards you, and we're not going to be nasty or ugly. Um, I would like to know, first of all, how many of Doug Guyvett and Holly Pivick's books have you read? I know that you're doing your own NAR analysis of their, uh, the roundtable discussion. I appreciate that you said the NAR is not a myth. I don't agree with uh, several things that you said <laughs> in part one uh, of your analysis and how Doug and Holly treat Charismatics and Pentecostals. So I'm curious to know how many of their books that you've read. I'm curious to also know, in addition to that, it's, I guess two parts of one question. I'm curious to know what your understanding of NAR is. Um, if you've read Peter Wagner's work, if you understand what the teaching behind this all is. Number two, I'm curious to know your um, the the if there was any profound influence that John Eckhart had on your life. You mentioned that in some comments before, and I would like to know uh, what to what extent that was, and if you've heard of the book, A Shift in Leadership. Number three, I'm going to go back to the question I asked in this original video, which was, does a church planner engage in this activity, or does an apostle with governing authority engage in this activity? Because, uh, help me understand something. I, I, I can't find this activity in scripture that apostles are engaging in, with um, tearing down principalities and, and such. I believe in spiritual warfare because because Ephesians 6 says that we um, wrestle not against flesh and blood, as I said in this reel uh, or video, but um, I'm curious to know if you can explain to me, since you say you're a church planter, how this is not NAR. So anyway, without further ado, here's the video again. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye. Well, let's talk for a minute, shall we? For starters, uh, in this reel, which I don't have the full context to, so I'll be fair, don't have the full context. I don't know what happened before or after it. It's just simply off, directly off the ministry page that it came from. But there are two things being done here that I want to draw your attention to. The first is deliverance. Modern deliverance, mass deliverance, it said. And this is done quite frequently where groups of people are gathered, like in Atlanta recently at the Mantles Conference, 17,000 people receiving mass deliverance. There's that, and we don't see that practice in Scripture of um, that taking place. So that's one thing. The second thing we have going on here is territorial spiritual warfare, y'all. And this is usually based on Ephesians 6. 
Ephesians 6, so we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers over this present darkness, spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Now, I have a question. Because we don't see this practiced in Scripture either. We are very much uh, aware of spiritual warfare, but we are not told to engage in these practices of taking authority over false gods and false gods such as Ashtoreth, uh, Aphrodite, Diana, and whoever else was taking authority of. But I, I, I do want to make an observation and give you something to think about. Does a church planter engage in this type of behavior or does an apostle engage this type of behavior? A, an apostle with governing authority. Because in something that I'm familiar with that begins with uh, new and ends with apostolic reformation, these types of practices go on where apostles that believe they have governing authority will engage in territorial spiritual warfare, whether they go to a mountaintop or they go to the bottom of the ocean or in to the, some depth of the ocean and do all this wild stuff. But this type of thing is more mild. But still, um, there's an individual claiming to be an apostle that's engaging in territorial spiritual warfare. So what kind of apostle does that? I think I, I'm, my main point, as you probably know what I'm going to say, is to stay biblical. Uh, we need to go to Scripture and look at this and say, okay, the doctrine or practices that are being implemented, do we see this pattern in Scripture? Do we see in the epistles that Christians are being instructed to cast demons out of themselves or demons out of other Christians? And do we see this doctrine being implemented that we are to take territories um, by casting down principalities in certain regions. <sighs> my goodness, just stay biblical, my friends. And yes, the NAR does exist. <laughs>